Hi everyone, Trey with Veris Technologies here. Today we are going to go over a very common problem and annoyance factor that we have with iPhones uh, and our customers, and that is managing multiple accounts on the device, so multiple email accounts uh, that may have calendars, contacts, and email in them. Um, maybe you've got your work account that's at Office 365 and you have your personal Gmail account and maybe an iCloud account um, and you just got contacts everywhere and calendars everywhere um, and so we're going to kind of clear some of that up today. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of show you from the email perspective uh, that we've got um, a Gmail account and an Exchange account and uh, if we look at all inboxes, we could see there's email. And then when we go into Google, there's only three new ones. And when we go into Exchange, there's, uh, or I said that backwards, there's three new ones. Uh, but in Gmail, there there is three, but there's 26 total or some old ones that are red. I'm not 100% sure there, but um, just, try, just showing you there's multiple accounts here. Um, and before we get into calendars and contacts, what I want to do is I want to make a change to our settings. Uh, I'm going to close my email just, just to make sure the settings take effect properly. Uh, but we're going to change a setting, and that is the, dis the description of the email accounts. So the first one we're going to do is go into our Exchange account, which is our, our work, our kind of our demo work account. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the email address um, and we're going to make that the description. And this will become clear how this is used uh, here in a minute when we go take a look at some things. And we're going to do the same thing to our Gmail account. Um, we're going to copy the email address and we're going to make that... Um, well, I'm... Um, struggling with copying and pasting. I'm sorry about that. There we go. And we're going to make that the description for the Gmail account also. And then you'll see uh, why we're doing that here in just a second. So let's first take a look back at our mail, see if that setting has taken effect. It has. And so now it's a, it's a little bit easier to understand exactly what we're looking at when we go and look into this particular email address we know that's the email for that. And when we go into our Gmail address, that's email that's for that account. So that's kind of nice. Uh, if we do a new email, you could choose which one that it's from, and it's easy to tell which one it's from. Um, so if we have um, settings, for example, uh, I'm going around pretty quickly because we got a lot to cover, so sorry about that. But if we go to our settings for mail and we look at our signatures down here, um, I believe, yeah, we could do a per account signature. So for our Gmail account, which is kind of our personal one, we can, you know, just do one signature. And then for our work one, we could do a different signature. Um, maybe the company name and then our name, you know, whatever. The point is you could do it different per account and it's easier to tell which one it's for. Because a lot of people don't know what is Exchange, what is Gmail, what is iCloud, what is G Suite. So we like to use it based on the email address. Okay, let's look at another challenge related to this and our calendars. When we go into our calendars, um, normally by default, they're all on. I've already turned some of them off. So it could be kind of messy. You know, which one's on which calendar? It's good to look at all of them together, but where is it stored? Where is it saved? And so now that we've renamed the accounts to the email addresses, it makes it a little bit easier to tell. So we could say, really, I really only want to look at my work calendar right now. Oh, and someone else in my office, I want to see their calendar too. There we go. That's pretty easy to do. Um, gosh, I, I really just want to know what's on my personal calendar right now. Um, there's nothing on my personal calendar for today. So uh, I'm sorry, that's a the wrong one. That's the one. As you can see, it, it can be kind of confusing. 
Um, so this kind of gives you the, the, the understanding of how these different accounts work within the calendar area. Uh, when you do a new appointment, you get to choose which calendar here in the middle, which calendar is this being put on? Well, now it's a little bit easier to understand. Oh, it's, I want it on my main work calendar. So put it there. Um, let's just do a quick uh, test meeting. Uh, two to three, and we'll add it. Now we don't see it, why not? Well, we're looking at our personal calendar. So let's go take a look at our work calendar. And there it is, test merging, <laughs> auto-corrected to merging. So that's how renaming those accounts can help with your calendars. Um, contacts, it's even a little bit kind of more tricky. Uh, and it has the same concept of the, the groups, they're called groups and you can choose which account to look at. Like I only wanna look at, uh, well here, I'll look at all of my work contacts. And there I've got four of them. And uh, maybe I wanna look at all of my personal contacts. Well, I have two of them. Well, if we look at all of them, there, one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got all six. Now, when you go to add a new contact, you don't have a place to choose where you're saving that contact, which is kind of silly. Um, but there are two ways to handle that. The first way we handle that is in settings and then contacts, we choose the default account. So I want that to be my work account because that's what I usually am saving contacts to. And for the calendar, let's see, uh, the default calendar, I want that to be my work calendar, which it's already set to that. So that's good. So now back in contacts, when we go to add a new uh, contact, uh, we'll just do Jim Bob. And that contact shows up in our list now. Jim Bob, and let's make sure that it's put in the right place, and that's our work contacts. There he is, Jim Bob. And we can turn those off and look at our personal one. Not there. So that's, that's why we name these uh, contact lists and accounts so it's easier to determine. If you wanted to put uh, a contact in your personal account at this point, that's not the default, the way you do it is by only showing that one. You show your personal account, and then you add the contact there. So again, you could kind of see that it's a little messy. Here we go. Um, personal contacts are there. If we flip over to our work account, personal contact is not there, but let's show all contacts. There's our personal contact. So that's just a quick little uh, demo tutorial, whatever you'd like to call it, about the advantages behind when you create accounts on your phone, name them something that you will know. For me, I like the email address because I think of these as buckets. What bucket am I storing this mail, these contacts, these calendars? What bucket am I storing these in? And so for me, it's the email addresses. And for you, it may be a, a shorter name or description, um, but whatever works for you is what to set them to. And that way it'll help you to organize both your, uh, well, obviously your email, but also your contacts and calendars. And that's it. Thank you.